Joining me today from the Culinary Institute of Charleston is Executive Chef Michelle Weaver from the Charleston Grill in downtown Charleston. Michelle, crab cakes, the Charleston Grill, I know that's one of your specialties. Absolutely. A signature dish at the restaurant. Well, I can't wait to see this one because this is a first for me. Well, great. Let's get started. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with our lovely blue crab. Oh, wow. We're using jumbo lump. Okay. All right, so we've got like a pound of crab. We're just going to put this in our bowl. Gotcha. And it's a real easy recipe, is it not? Oh, it's, it's really easy, actually. Yeah. And folks, if you want to reach out there and grab the recipe, you can log on to bobredfern.com and go to the sportsman's table, and Michelle will have it up there. All right. So we've got a little mayonnaise. You can make your own. We make our own at the restaurant. Okay. This is just a store-bought, good quality, heavy mayonnaise. Gotcha. Though. Okay. So we're going to add that in there. All right. There we right. You know, you all make this stuff look so easy. <laughs> It's not that hard. It's just really good quality ingredients. Exactly. That's what yeah. makes it. Uh, we've got a little egg white here. Okay. Mm. And then that's what's going to hold it together. I got you. A little mayonnaise, a little egg white, the a glue. little bit of love. The glue. Yeah. All right, we're going to put a little splash of lemon juice in there to keep it nice and fresh and perk up the flavors. Okay. And then we've got some lemon zest. So you don't want all the acid, but you want the flavor of the I lemon got you. in there. Okay. Mm. So there we are. That's, that's neat. We've got some fresh chopped chives. Okay. A little color. And a little bit of time. All right. I got, really of time. I got lots of time. I got lots of time, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to gently stir it because you don't want to break up the crab meat. I got you. And get the, all that seasoning in there. Mmm. Awesome. Yeah. Now you can add your egg white and your mayonnaise and all the seasonings first and then fold in your crab if you like. I got you. Okay. You're just nice and gentle though so you don't break it up too much. Ah. All right. And then we've got a little cracker crumb. Oh, wow. Now if you can't find cracker crumbs, we can use a little bit of... Uh, Breadcrumbs, just okay. a nice dry breadcrumb. Okay. And then just a little sprinkle in there. And that's it. Mm. And that's really what's going to hold it together. Oh, wow. And we're going to let this sit for a minute and let all the little breadcrumbs absorb all that moisture. In I there. got you. So and then mm. once we come back to it, we'll roll our crab cakes. There you go. And this is what they'll look like. We've got one started here. It's starting to cook. Okay. All we've got is this beautiful little olive oil in the pan. There you go. Starting to brown. We've got oh. one side going here. And while we're browning that, we're going to start our sauce. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm all over it. Mm-hmm. All right, so Bob, we're going to start our sauce. Okay, great. A little old Linda olive oil. Absolutely. Yeah, there we go. A little olive oil. This is going to be like a warm vinaigrette. Okay. With shrimp in it. So we're going to start with our shrimp. We'll get our oil hot a little bit. Okay. And we'll put a few of our little Carolina shrimp in there. Now, this takes just a few minutes to do, right? We just butterfly or kind of chop up your shrimp a little bit, so okay. it doesn't take very long at all. I got you. We'll get those started. Mm. Get them nice and warm because we don't want to overcook them. Okay. We're going to start with our little bit of shallot while that's cooking. Okay. Mmm. Awesome. And a little salt and pepper. You know, cooking shrimp always smells good. Always smells good. <laughs> especially when they're from Carolina. Exactly. Mmm. All right. So we've got that popping in the pan a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to add a little splash of lime. Just okay. for a little bit of acid. I got you. And that's going to help finish cooking those shrimp a little mm. bit with our good olive oil. Our dill. Awesome. And some lovely little tomatoes. Wow. Nice, full of color. Mm. That looks great. And now we're ready to plate. It smells better. Wow, okay. All right, thank you. Mm. We got our beautiful little brown crab cake. All wow. Cooked through. That's awesome. And then our sauce. Ooh. Our little Carolina shrimp, tomatoes, fresh dill. Let's do it. I'll have to chase him around. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful dish. A little bit more sauce in there. It smells great. Mm. There we are. Wow. That is great right there. Oh, wow. And folks, I will tell you, I have to put a plug in for Michelle that in the latest issue of Southern Living, she had a shrimp and grits recipe in there. My wife made it for dinner a couple of nights ago, and it was awesome. It Thanks. always is. And thank, thank you. you so much. And I appreciate it very much being a guest on the show today. And well, for that, you, a little something for you to take back to your kitchen. I appreciate from it. From all of our friends at Olinda Olive Oil. And folks, log on to charlestonplace.com. Log in. Get your reservation. Stay in the hotel. And while you're there, dine in at the Charleston Grill. South Carolina's most notable four-star restaurant. And remember, nothing's fresher, nothing's finer, unless it's certified South Carolina. Log on to their website at certifiedscgrown.com and see for yourself.